This is StreetPainting.tv, your street painting video channel. This is Wendy Stum with StreetPainting.tv, and I'm talking with featured artist Rod Tryon from Cutchall, New York. Hi, Rod. How are you doing today? I'm doing just fine. Rod, let me ask you how you first got involved in street painting. How long ago was that, and how did you find out about it? Well, I've been street painting for 20 years. Uh, I lived in Santa Barbara, California, where uh, the first street painting festival in the country was held, and uh, I saw the, uh, the event going on and knew I had to do it, and I've been doing it ever since. Let me ask you what kind of work you do other than street painting. Like, when you're not street painting, what, how do you spend your time? Oh, I... Um, I do pastel on paper and uh, a little bit of acrylics, and I also do some uh, computer graphics, but uh, mostly pastels. Do you just do street painting festivals, or do you have other applications for street painting? No, I do. Uh, I do some corporate work. Uh, I'll do uh, events with corporations for special events and uh, art art shows and art festivals and uh, and street painting festivals. I see this piece as a 3D piece, and it's getting a lot of attention. Um, how did you first get interested in 3D work, and what do you like about it? Uh, I started doing trompe l'oeil about six years about six years ago. Um, I I did a uh, an MC Escher piece that looked like uh, a couple of hands coming out of the pavement, and uh, it got a great reaction from the crowd. So uh, I was really interested in three-dimensional work, and I've uh, just been working on uh, doing three-dimensional pieces for quite a while now. How do you decide uh, to choose an image for a new festival or corporate project? I just look for something interesting. Um, I also, uh, if you look through my past work, I do a lot of animals and uh, I enjoy uh, the, the way children react to animals and I, I like to interact with the kids while I'm working on the piece. So that's a lot of fun. How long does it take you to do something this large and what is the size of this piece? This piece is 12 feet by 15 feet. Um, it took me uh, four days. I worked on it about 38 hours. Uh, I usually do something about 12 by 12, and I can finish that in about three days. Do you usually work alone, or do you like to work with other artists? I generally work alone, although I found a few artists whose styles are similar, and I have worked uh, together with other artists. So. Uh, uh, it's fun collaborating, but it's also fun working alone. How do you feel about the ephemeral quality of street painting? Does that bother you that the images go away soon? Um, I actually think it makes it more special. The, the ephemeral nature of it is uh, something where I look at it as it's a gift to those who get to see it, and uh, you take a lot of photographs and go on and do the next one. What do you like best about a street painting festival atmosphere? Um, it's, it's just a lot of fun that we, uh, doing it for 20 years, I've known a lot of street painters and uh, it's like a big family, we all uh, get together and just have a good time. Do you find that um, yourself and other street painting artists at festivals inspire uh, maybe younger kids to want to try street, street painting? That's a big part of why I do it, I love to uh, interact with the kids and, uh, and be a mentor to them and, and show them how to, how it works and, and it's great when they get really excited about it and, and want to try it. What is your favorite street painting that you've ever done? Um, I think this one right here that we uh, are looking at. I, I really enjoyed it a lot. It was, I just did a, uh, a line drawing. Uh, I created it myself and uh, just made up the colors on the spot so that was, that was a lot of fun. I really had a good time doing that. This one doesn't really have a square border. Um, how did you start drawing? Did you use a grid or did you freehand it? Um, I use a grid to uh, get my initial proportions down, but I also um, uh, change the image as I'm sketching it because of it's so large, it has to be uh, uh, elongated for foreshortening. When the viewer is looking at it from the bottom, uh, objects get smaller, so you have to uh, adjust the, the images to, to make it work uh, visually. Do you have any tricks or techniques that you care to share about uh, your street painting or maybe chalks that you use or surfaces you like? Um, I think asphalt is the best surface. It really shows off the color the best. Um, 
it's uh, nice and easy on the hands and uh, I've worked on a lot of different surfaces concrete and bricks and uh, it's uh, asphalt seems to be the best how do you physically prepare for uh, street painting I know it's very labor-intensive and is there anything that you do ahead of time stretching or eating certain foods or anything like that um, I do stretch uh, quite a bit to, to prepare for it, and uh, but I still get uh, fairly sore. Getting up and down off the ground uh, for three days, uh, eight hours a day, it uh, definitely takes a toll on the body, but uh, it's so much fun that uh, I usually don't, uh, don't worry too much about the pain. Do you find that the street painters that you've met over the years are um, you know, pretty friendly in a close-knit group of people? I mean, is that part of the reason that you like to go to these different festivals and street paint, because you see them? Definitely. I have so many good friends that are street painters, and we get together, and we, we uh, create our artwork together, and we get together afterwards and just have a very good time. It's a lot of fun. And what kind of reactions do you get from the viewers? Oh, it's, you know, it's... Uh, runs the gamut really you get uh, a lot of compliments and uh, sometimes you get some critiques but uh, it's uh, it's great I, I love all the comments I, I really like uh, interacting with the crowd it's, to get the immediate feedback is really uh, it's really special it's, it's a different way to work it's a lot of fun so this is really like a type of performance art than just art that you would see like at a gallery or a show yeah it really is like performance art it's, uh, Showing your, your technique and uh, getting comments and, and talking to people. If you're creating a classic painting, uh, to be able to talk to somebody who might have seen the original in a museum, uh, it's, uh, it's interesting and to, to go back and forth with the audience. Rod, your piece is a lot of fun. It's a beautiful street painting. Thanks so much for your time and thanks for talking to streetpainting.tv. Thank you.